is up guys it is me rats with one five seven and I am back here um making another video this is a little different I usually don't make these types of videos but I've been getting pretty good at this time type of stuff and so I wanted to go ahead and share it. um if you plan a faction server if you play on uh if you play on UEMC or any faction server really uh you'll probably want to make a vault or a base or something of that sort I'm gonna show you how to make um a regular vault here and then I'm gonna show you how to make a cool vault like a upgraded vault uh, next episode so let's just type route okay I'm just going creative just because uh, yeah just to help me you know and stuff so um, this vault can be in the air underground uh, I don't suggest it being ah whoa, lag Okay, I don't suggest it being like on the regular um, ground here. So, yeah, so I think we're just gonna. I'll just build it on regular land, and then uh, you'll be able to actually see it. But you may want to build it, you know, on a regular, uh, you know, underground or in the air. And if you want to see it, I'll post it in the description just because there's a town over there. It'd be a nice. Uh, map so let's go ahead and get obsidian yeah it's gonna be an obsidian base um well so that's all we'll need for now just to build the base here um so you're just gonna wanna go like this doesn't really matter matter the dimensions of it you can still make it even no matter what um but if you are low on obsidian or you don't have a lot then uh, it is going to be tough to build you're going to need a decent amount of obsidian just because you're going to be having to make two layers if you want of this um, I'll show you how to do that if you want to do that you don't have to um, I'll explain to you what that means in a bit so let's go ahead and just finish off the base here Okay, I'm not going to fill in the floor yet Really? Really? Sorry, I don't have different microphone position. I can't really see my mouse. So, it's tough. Um, you don't have to make it too, too high. Um, I suggest it being, being a decent height, though, just so that you have enough height for chests. Um, because chests, obviously, are the main part of a vault. And you're going to want to be able to hold a decent amount of chests in your vault just because um, you want to keep everything that's good safe. Sorry, I'm trying to like double talk here, so don't judge me. Okay. We're gonna, the reason I'm not doing the floor yet is the floor will be obsidian, but I haven't decided the design that I want to put on the floor. I change it up like every every time I build this thing so um yeah and let's see this may this may be the last level if it's tall enough let's go ahead and keep building it up now the really good thing about this base is that it's pretty much unreadable uh given the obsidian exterior as long as it's all claimed um they can't really read it um, and since TNT can't blow up obsidian uh, if that's what your faction server has um, that you know obsidian can be blown up by TNT or creepers you're good this is the base now the reason that I'm telling you this is that there used to be a glitch I haven't tested the glitch yet um, that you could place a boat like in the obsidian and you could go through it and have a friend push you through and get into the base I don't know if that glitch is still here or not I haven't really tested it um, since like 1.4 but it's only on multiplayer I don't know if it was patched or what but let's do another one and then next episode I'll show you how to do a uh, one it's got an enchantment room in it and it's got a brewing 
area in it. So yeah, that'll look really, it looks really nice. Okay, let's just start filling in the roof. Um, yeah, sorry, I would speed it up, but for the people that just like to see it block by block, um, I know I'm like that when I watch videos on how to build stuff, I like it to be block by block. So that's why it's like this. That's why it's not sped up or anything. So now the main exterior is done. I'm just going to break a hole in there for now just so that I can see. Uh, that'll get filled in later though. Alright, so then you're going to want to get some slabs. Some lava. Okay. Now this is just really decorating it up. Um, you're going to want to make these two. Not that one. These two here, you can go ahead and make these obsidian. I don't know if I made it wide enough for, for my floor design that I was going to do. If not, I'll just leave the floor obsidian. All of it obsidian. And um, update on my channel while I'm filling in this floor here. Um, I think I'm going to start doing Clash of Clans tutorials uh, from my phone. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff, just leave a comment. Um, I want to know, you know, if you'd be into that kind of stuff. So, uh, just leave a comment uh, telling me if you'd like to see that. Clash of Clans, like raids and base designs and everything. Yeah, it's a little too thin to do the floor design, unfortunately. But yeah, we're just going to put these here. Now, there's two ways you could do these. You could have the lava flow from the top, or you just have it sit here. I'm just For this episode, or for this base, I'm just going to have it sit in here. Um, on the server I play on, UEMC, I put lava in here just because I have protection, so... Um, I, have fire, I have fire protection, so I don't really get hurt by, I really don't get hurt by, um, lava. Like, I could just sit here all day and never get hurt in survival mode. So that's why I put lava in here. If you don't want the lava, you could change it to water. Um, it's just, I don't like the look of torches. And so, yeah. I'm gonna take these two here. And on the small walls... You're just, eh, you're just gonna wanna stack them all the way up, and then you're gonna wanna put. Actually, let's rethink this. Let's put these up. Oh my god, I can't. Okay. And then we're gonna put these like that. Okay. So then you're going to want to do double, and I don't know how wide or how long I made this, so, okay, perfect. And then you're just going to want to double chest all the way up. I'm really bad at placing chests, as you can probably assume. See? See? Leave those spaces blank, blank for a second. Now, the reason I'm putting ender chests here, you're like, holy crap, I need that many ender chests. No, you don't. You can replace those with crafting benches or furnaces or something. I like the look of ender chests, and I think they're not that, that difficult to get, so I just put them there. But also, I'm saying that they're not difficult to get, but um, I spend a lot of time on raid servers, so that's probably why. Okay, now when this row of chests is done, okay, now you're going to want to get um, crafting table 
and furnaces because you you always want to be able to have these utilities in your vault I'll just stack them up and I know you can make that many furnaces and this many crafting benches that's not that difficult at all Ooh, cut down a tree <laughs> okay so now we have the basic layout of the um, of the whatever it's called done um, the reason I'm putting that there is you'll see in a second um, then I'm gonna take oh I covered up the top layer do I still have my slabs? no okay let's take back my slabs and I think just for purposes I'm gonna take down the top layer now the part the thing to this vault is you're gonna have to set your home in here or your faction home or something um, it's important that you don't let that you don't TP anybody in here unless you know them and you know that they're not gonna take any of your stuff or you know that they're not gonna take a screenshot of your coordinates and uh, you need to make sure that you trust them because once this once you lose your vault you're pretty much done it's pretty it's pretty much over so um yeah I would just I can't do that so I would just make sure that you uh, are protective of it because once it's gone it's gone uh, and you don't want to lose your fault I'm just doing a floor design you can make it whatever you want and okay so now that this parts done we're gonna go to the protection part on the outside uh, okay options let's just make sure I'm on peaceful okay for purposes okay now we are going to fill that in. okay now you're just gonna wanna place obsidian now this is the optional part you don't have to do this my goodness, I can't place crap. Um, you don't have to do it like this. Uh, completely optional. I'm not going to do it all the way. I'm just going to do this one layer just because of time purposes. But what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to basically make like a shell for the for the vault with obsidian. Um, the shell would be like this and it would stack all the way up the height of the of the vault and you would just fill it in with obsidian and then what you would do is you take some lava hold on I need to go around the top of it you take some lava and then you would pour it the lava wouldn't be visible to people trying to get into the vault but if they do happen to get past the first layer, they're in a pool of lava. And that's good. You're telling them don't come here anymore. You just want to put lava all the way around. And, um, I can't fly. Okay. And you're just going to place it all around. This just adds like an extra blanket of security, and uh, it's really good, and it will kill people. I've killed people in my lava traps so many times, and no, no, no. Okay. And there we go. So, yeah, so I've killed so many people in my lava traps. It's such a handy tool, and obviously there will be a wall of obsidian here blocking it to where you know you won't be able to see it like this I'll just do one wall so that you can get the picture oh that's not good okay. so it would look like that and you'd be like oh it's somebody's vault you wouldn't assume that there's lava back there unless you have your sound on and if you had your sound on you would know 
not to come near it, and this should also be in the air or in the underground, where it's very difficult to find it. Um, so yeah, I thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make an epic sky base, or not sky base, but vault thing. And if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate all the support. Uh, if you built this base, tell me in the description. Um, tell me if it worked for you. If not, I'll do more tutorials on better, stronger bases. Uh, next episode, this was part one. Part two, we'll have an enchantment room. Um, and it will be a little bit more sophisticated than this one. And I guess I can jump into part two right now because I can just go show you it because it's actually on multiplayer server that I play on. Let's go ahead and hop onto UEMC. This was, this was basically the one that I just built you. Um, this is another vault that I built. Um, this was another vault that I built. So yeah, slash home vault 2. This is the one that I'm talking about. See, I can spawn in lava. Uh, this is the vault that I'm talking about with the enchantment room. This vault's really sophisticated, and it's really nice. Some may say that the lava makes it a little bit too cramped, too much uh, cramped space. I don't know. I keep it there just because I like lava. Um, so yeah, this is the main part. Um, it's pretty nice. And then... Ooh, hello. Okay. This is the enchantment room. Level 30 enchantments, I believe. Not sure. 26. Pretty good. Um, I'll probably make it 30. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I can just one-hit you, dog. Okay, so yeah, um, and then this will be the brewing stand area later. This is probably my favorite vault. This is the current vault that I use, um, and it's just really nice. You can put you can put signs on everything, and uh, it's really good. So if you like this vault tell me if you want a oh way if you want to be able to build it and you want a block by block representation I can rebuild it for you um, that will come up just tell me in the discreet or tell me in the comments if you would like me to build this this one it's really nice and I like it um, and this one is I'm not gonna tell you where it is actually but it can go in the air or underground as well Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, then I don't know. I don't know what to do if you didn't enjoy. But um, thank you guys for watching. And as always, guys, stay sexy. Thanks for watching.